Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on standard form. In this video we'll cover the basics on this topic, uh, a couple of different skills, and then we'll cover some more skills in a separate video. But to start with, what is standard form? Uh, well, it's essentially, standard form just does what it says on the tin. It's a standardised way of writing any number. Uh, so we write this in the form a times 10 to the power n. Uh, so this is a very useful shorthand way of expressing very large or very small numbers. Uh, but let's just break this down a bit. So first of all, what is A? A can be any number that's between 1, including 1, uh, and 10, but it does not include 10. So it could be 1.5, it could be 5, it could be 9.9, .9, but it can't be 10, um, and it can be any decimal in between these values. Uh, but it can't be anything less than 1, it can't be anything greater than 10. And N is any whole number. So this can include minus numbers as well, uh, but it has to be a whole number uh, or an integer. So as I say, this is a very useful way of expressing very large numbers. So ones with lots of zeros, lots of digits, uh, or any uh, really small number. So any very small decimals, for instance. Uh, so we'll move on to look at some examples to see this in practice. So let's start with this first example uh, where we're expressing a, a number in standard form and we want to convert it to a normal number. So we have 4.2 times 10 to the 5. Now, if you remember, the standard form was a times 10 to the power n. Now, this n is going to come in useful here. So we want to write this number as a normal number, not in standard form. So what we have to do is we'll write out this 4.2. Uh, we'll put a few zeros in as well. Uh, that'll do. Uh, now, what this n tells us is how many places we have to move the decimal place. So in this instance, n equals 5. As soon as we've got 4.2 times 10 to the 5. So we move the decimal place uh, five spaces to the right. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the decimal place moves to here. Uh, we'll rub out this. Uh, so we end up with 420,000 as an actual number, not in standard form. So what about this time if we have uh, a number with a negative power? So here we have 2.8 times 10 to the minus 4. And now again, we're going to use this n, uh, or the power of 10 here, uh, to tell us where we're going to move the decimal place. But when we have a minus power, instead of moving the decimal place to the right, we move it to the left. So we're going to need a few zeros first of all. And now we'll write our 2.8. So we're moving the decimal place four spaces, this time to the left. So we go from here, we go 1, 2, 3, 4. So the decimal point ends up here. And we can rub out this extra zero that we've drawn in. Uh, but we have to make sure we remove the first decimal place and the line. Uh, so our final answer then is 2.8 times 10 to the minus 4 is equal to 0 0.00028. Now standard form is an important skill, so it's important that you get a lot of practice. And you can do so with our online exam, which is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a good way of keeping track of where you're going wrong, and what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and how you can improve. So if this is something you're interested in, you should click the link below and it will take you straight there.